All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, you did read the description correctly. Uh, thanks to our buddy Josh, we've got an AR-50 out on the bench today for review. We're going to shoot a couple of three-shot groups just at 275, which, yes, I know is pretty much nothing for this rifle, but that's all we got. And I wanted to get some shooting footage for you guys. So we uh, put a few rounds down range to get it on target. So we've got uh, just a couple of rounds of some Legend ammo. This is... Uh, it appears to be some sort of possible, um, oh, maybe some surplus style ammo. But he said that he was getting this for about 280 a round, so less than three bucks a round. So that's pretty good. So we're going to try three of those and then some American Eagle. So we've got a couple paper targets set up. You guys will get to see those on the target cam. We'll take a few shots here and then we'll get some close ups of the rifle and go over a few of the specifics. But uh, we're going to start with a few of these. Uh, Legend ammo rounds again at 275 and just see what it does here, guys. All right, and you definitely know you shot this puppy, that's for sure. But, believe it or not, the thing that kind of surprised me the most about it is the recoil really isn't that bad. This rifle weighs, with the optic, almost around 36 pounds, which is an absolute chunk. But uh, it definitely helps to tame that recoil down along with that tanker break up front as well. But, let's see. Let me try another one here. And I have to say, the, the shootability of the rifle itself honestly isn't that bad. The only thing that I noticed that is uh, a little unnerving is the pressure that you feel in your sinuses when you shoot it. But I tell you what, you want to put a smile on your face quick, get beneath one of these, and start peeling a few of these off. Let's try three of these American Eagles. And again, this is all just FMJ stuff. So, same distance, three shots. Launching a lot of lead downrange in one of these fellas, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, one more here. If, uh... <laughs> All right, not an overly impressive group, but I tell you what, fun nonetheless. Let me grab the camera here, fellas. Get this. Uh ear pro off me so I can hear myself talk a little bit but as you guys might expect this is a huge rifle fellas this thing is enormous this is using a 30 inch barrel right at about 60 inches in overall length it's got a Shiloh trigger and believe it or not like I said the recoil something like this being a, a single shot you would think would be just absolutely astronomically bad but with the addition of that break and the overall weight of the rifle, it's just basically a steady push. The 
worst part about shooting the rifle, like I said, is the pressure shock that you get from actually pulling the trigger and that round going off. You most definitely know you shot it. Now, this does come from the factory with a 15 MOA rail from Armalite, so that's a nice addition as well. Um, it does come with the GGT bipod. Awesome, awesome bipod. But uh, let me pause the camera. I'm not going to subject you guys to the walk down to the to the final backstop. We'll take a look at our target and get some final thoughts, guys. All right, guys, here we are. So, as you guys know, I can't shoot worth a dang. So, we've got two shots right here with that Legend ammo and then one all the way down here. And here is our group with our American Eagle, which honestly, that's, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's not like that's a high precision round by no means. So, that's a uh, that's not bad. Again, this is at 275. So I tell you, this is definitely something that uh, um, not a lot of us have the ability to shoot. So I definitely wanted to uh, get uh, get some video of it for you guys and kind of go over some of the basics on it. It's just a quick view, but uh, definitely uh, post up below if you got any questions on this. Feel free to hit me up on the Facebook page. Check out our Teespring. We finally got it set up. So go over there and order you a t-shirt and a sticker. It would uh, greatly help out the channel. And as always, guys, shoot straight. Later.